is Dan Isla, and I'm a systems engineer here at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. I'm Paul from Between the Barrier to Me, and I'm Captain Briggs from Between the Barrier to Me. As you can see, Dan is Dan Briggs is suited up and ready for battle. We've been touring uh, JPL now for the last couple hours. It was obviously a tremendous opportunity, probably one of the greatest, if not the greatest, opportunity the band has had uh, up until this point. Yeah. And just some amazing, mind-blowing stuff. Thanks to Dan and everybody here at JPL for having us. Uh, we learned so much and uh, had a great time. Some new inspiration for uh, possible future music. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Well, the, we <laughs> the wheels are turning. Inspiration for us engineers here at JPL as well. We have a small metal following, so pushing the limits, space, time, engineering, <laughs> and music. You brought me to my first BT Bam show. I think my first conversation I ever ever had with Josh was talking about your music. <laughs> That's awesome. um, well, hopefully one day we will play on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> guys can work on all four. Maybe not the next mission, but the one after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shoot the DVD on Get Mars. Us up there. <laughs> um, I, I did batch to send one of your songs to the rover. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you guys have heard of Will I Am. But, oh, um, of course. He wrote a song for the mission. Oh, God. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> but it was, you know, to promote NASA and the project. Yeah. And um, we encoded that file, it was like MP3, and then wrapped it in space like, format or whatever. And we radiated it from the Deep Space Network all the way to the rover. That's and awesome. And then the rover sent it back. Maybe so it made like a round trip. Uh, that's amazing. Oh, that's and, and then some we played it here on the Aliens console. are listening to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's wild. Maybe you can answer this for me, since obviously, like, on Mars, I guess you know, the atmosphere is different. You know, maybe the gravity or whatever is different. How would how does music, how would it sound up there? If, we got, if I went up there and played a guitar, what would it sound like? I mean, the waves would travel differently, I assume. And I've I've asked myself that question too. And one of the questions I I get a lot is, uh, is there a microphone? on the rover, can we hear yeah. what it sounds like? And I'm always like, well, what would it sound like? Because the density of the atmosphere is about 1 100th of that on Earth. Right. And as you guys know, sound waves are perturbations in the air. Right. Modules, mm -hmm. Pressure waves. So um, I think it might sound like higher pitch. Higher pitch, yeah. 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 So like if I play if I play a G major chord down here, it sounds a certain way. It's going to sound completely different up yeah. there. Right? Exactly. So we're gonna to have to tune differently, right? Andy, can you? Andy, take note. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mars tuning. Just <laughs> Mars tuning. That would be an awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Mars tuning. Just write a song in Mars tuning. Yeah. 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 I could probably sit down and we could do the calculations yeah. and figure out, give like sample frequencies, like write a little converter. Yeah, for time. There's, there's got to be some sort of algorithm to figure out this. Yeah. 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 I love like it. Thing. This is cool. <laughs> this will be the next sound. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, it's it's my 29th birthday. This, this is the greatest birthday present that uh, that I could ask for. You got to wear your space suit. Got to wear my space suit. And a space lap, yep. basically. So. My birthday suit underneath it. Yeah. And his birthday suit underneath, <laughs> as you can see. The taco meat is in full effect. <laughs> and uh, Dan, ear to ear grin. Yeah. This guy's happier than the proverbial pig and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great day. Well, it was awesome having you guys here. Thank you so much. Chef Propulsion Lab it means a lot. Can't wait to hear more music and rock out tonight's show. Awesome. Perfect. Great day. Uh, I've got this uh, celestial glow. By day, it's just a, your standard run of the mill glow, but at night, it turns into a map of the constellations. So I'm pretty pumped up about that.